So uh, Biological Dynamics uh, is a company I co-founded uh, while I was doing uh, my PhD here at uh, UC San Diego. And uh, it's for the rapid detection and isolation of self-recirculating biomarkers for cancer. So we do early cancer diagnostics as well as chemotherapy monitoring. So jumping right in, uh, what we have up here is the results of uh, two different microelectrode array-based blood tests. On the left-hand side, you can see a microelectrode array, the circles of the microelectrodes, and we actually uh, stained it with green fluorescence so you can see the biomarker. Uh, the left-hand side is normal human whole blood. It's completely undiluted. We didn't do anything to it. In fact, this is Dr. Heller's blood who's sitting in the back, so uh, you know, he wanted to be one of the first to check himself, see if he has a problem. Uh, you can see it comes out completely clean. And on the right-hand side, we have an early-stage chronic lymphocytic leukemia patient. You see these bright green rings actually show up. And this is the self-recirculating high molecular weight DNA, which I'll explain uh, where it comes from in a second. So um, a quick company overview. Uh, the two main founders of our company were me and uh, David Charlot, who's a colleague of mine. He's actually a CTO of the company. Uh, and uh, we started in March 2008 and made it a Delaware Corporation. Uh, the goal was to isolate these CFC biomarkers and actually do this early cancer diagnostics. We actually raised our uh, Series A of $2 million using uh, angel investors. And in addition to that, we won a bunch of SBIRs and other grants. So it gave us an additional $1 million. Bucks, so. uh, but we spent all of it so nobody mugged me. Uh, and so we did the proof of concept and partner it interest with that, and we're currently raising our Series B round with it. So our team, uh, I'd like to think we have a fantastic dream team with the exception of me. I'm, I'm just like the clown who's there. But... Um, they, uh, I was the CEO, or I am the CEO of the company. I shouldn't depose myself. Uh, and then uh, Dave's the CTO, and we've uh, have some fantastic people with us. Uh, Ricardo Dos Santos, who's our senior VP of business development, uh, he's actually from uh, Qualcomm, and he does uh, absolutely fantastic work there. And we managed to uh, steal him and sneak him out. As well as Gene too, who uh, on the right hand side, he looks like he's in his uh, 20s or early 30s. He's actually 50. Uh, and uh, he's worked here for over 30 years, so sorry for prematurely uh, aging you, but I just wanted to uh, let you guys know. And uh, Francois Ferre, who's the uh, co-founder and co-CEO of Althea Technologies and Althea DX, so absolutely wonderful people who've worked in a lot of good companies around here. So we have a total of uh, 11 full-time employees right now, and uh, we're actually expanding out to 24. Uh, our scientific advisory board, uh, some of you guys may know them, uh, Mike Heller, my former PI. Uh, we have Eric Topol, who's the uh, director of Scripps uh, uh, Translational Science Institute. Dennis Carson, the director of Morse Cancer Center. John Reed, the CEO of Sanford Burnham. Mark Adler, who's a board member of WebMD. Uh, and Dr. John Watson, who's the uh, former director of NHLBI. So uh, getting right into it, uh, what our technology is actually based off of, this is a um, slide by Dr. Dennis Carson that we modified for our own usage, is that you have basically, um, let's see, so... This is the life cycle of a, a tumor going from the top to the bottom. And you can see the green, where it's a single cell that becomes malignant, then two becomes four, and so on and so forth, until it actually causes death. So right now, stage zero of the cancer, where nobody can actually detect it, is all the way up. It's about 60% of the life cycle of a tumor. Stage one is about uh, 10 to 15%. Then you have stage two, stage three, and stage four. And stage four you know, leads to death uh, because you have metastatic disease. That's where you have the least amount of uh, possibility, or at least... Um, uh, highest survival rate for it. So you want a lowest survival rate is what I want to say. Uh, and the reason why is um, most cancers are detected here once it's spread everywhere. What you really want to do is detect cancer up here in the stage zero to stage one phase where your survival rate is over 95% for virtually every cancer. Uh, the biggest problem is these patients don't show any symptoms. By the time you get to the hospital, uh, it's already too late uh, because that's when you're, you know, coughing blood or you're bleeding, you have blinding headaches, but it's already spread everywhere. So we wanted a method of being able to do it. And so what we actually discovered while I was working there was uh, what's called self-recirculating nucleic acids, or more specifically DNA. It's a cancer biomarker with demonstrated diagnostic potential. It's actually derived largely from tumor cells. So to give you an idea, as the tumor cells grow, uh, all cancer, you know, what's the definition of cancer? It's just a cell that divides rapidly uh, and uncontrollably. So as the cancer cells continue growing, a lot of the cells die by a process called necrosis. So they spread the DNA around, and uh, in that method, if you can isolate the DNA, you are actually able to do secondary analysis, which you can do identification with it on. So I'll just uh, go quickly through the rest of this stuff because it's all the boring data. But uh, what we have is a chip that's about the size of a dime. It fits inside these flow cells. Uh, and these cartridges that we build. So you insert your sample into the cartridge, goes through the actual chip, it'll isolate the uh, biomarker for you. And then you can wash away all the cells that you don't want. So here's a quick video of how it works. It's uh, 30 seconds, just to give you an idea of it. Oh, it started already before I had a chance to press play. 
Okay. So what you have here is just a simplification where we say red blood cells, white blood cells, and DNA here. So it goes into the microelectrode array, which is seen here in the microelectrodes of the yellow circles. You turn on the electric field, and what occurs after is the uh, electric field forces all the cells and the particles you don't want to move away from the electrodes. At the same time that this actually ends up occurring, the DNA, which is seen in green, will go directly on the electrodes. Once this occurs, uh, all you have to do is a simple fluidic wash, and that's it. So uh, just to give you an idea of what the data looks like, this is what a normal person looks like. Uh, as we showed you before, these are several different cancers, breast cancer, colorectal cancer, pancreatic cancers in these two, and prostate cancer. So you can see your blood comes vastly different from whether you're normal or cancer patient. Uh, so using this, we can actually identify and then do secondary analysis on the biomarkers to uh, do chemotherapy monitoring and the like. So final quick slide, uh, well, uh, I put this in here. This is in Dr. Heller's uh, lab that me and a fellow um, um, student at the time, Roy Lefkowitz, took. And it actually says, uh, if we knew what we were doing, it wouldn't be called research. And that's by uh, Albert Einstein. So you'd be amazed at what you actually uh, discover. But uh, as we first started it and did the PhD study and the proof of concept, we did our entrepreneur challenge, which uh, Kanan is the CEO of, and we failed that. Uh, but we decided to incorporate the company anyways, you know, hoping we'd succeed. Uh, we took the Von Liebig courses. We began mentoring relationship with Von Liebig advisors. Then I uh, won the Jacob School Research Expo, then won the Entrepreneur Challenge, and so on and so forth, and the, the rest is history. But one of the main concepts there was uh, we met with uh, some Von Liebig advisors who actually helped us pair and, and uh, figure out how to, how to make the presentation look good. So we're uh, eternally grateful to their help as well as the Entrepreneur Challenge to really launching us. Thank you.